What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the video here. It is currently Tuesday, and um, I'm getting the bike ready here. As you can see, we got the, uh, the 250 Steed that has been sitting right here since we got back from uh, Three Palms. And, um, but yeah, gonna get, uh, I gotta like rinse it off. I guess the power washer's not here because um, we took it with us when we went to the track, and it's still loaded up in the RV, so I can't power wash it, but. I'm gonna try to rinse it off with a hose. It's not like it's dirty or anything. It's gonna be heading out to uh, Three Palms again in like a week, or it's been like a week, a week and a half, two weeks, two weeks, something like that, to go to the Loretta Lynn area qualifier that we were at two weeks ago and they got canceled. So now we're going back again um, to try to qualify again. So uh, yeah, so we're headed right now. We're gonna get this bike all loaded up. I'm gonna skip all the boring um, loading parts. Also, I want to give a big um, shout out to everyone that's been subscribing lately. We just hit 100 subscribers and uh, I'm super pumped on it. So yeah, we just hit 100 subscribers. Thank you guys for all the support. It's been a real up surprise. Can't even believe we hit 100 subscribers. Or the people who want to watch my videos, even though it's, I know it's, it's people I think, oh yeah, it's just 100 like compared to most people, but 100 is pretty big for me. I'm pretty hyped on it because I started with zero subscribers, started posting videos and people are subscribing and I guess liking the content. So if you like the content, make sure you like this video, drop a comment down below um, of what you want to see dirt bike related. Um, if you want more vlogs, GoPro, raw videos, drop a comment below. Um, really helps the channel. But yeah, thank you guys for subscribing so much to the channel. We just hit a hundred subscribers. For any of those that don't know about my 250, here um, i'll give you guys a little rundown on the 250 steed throttle syndicate hooks me up with the graphics uh wood cycle country 533 big uh, pro circuit team green monster big sponsors of mine so yeah beast does um all my plastics so those are cherry's plastics um i got the mika um bars on here i think this is like the stock cowie bend because i really like the stock bend so yeah i just got the mika bars um i got the tamer whole shot device um double button i really like the double button a lot because um it's better than one button. You got two different settings on it. Got the uh, Tusk um, radiator gauge, cap, temp gauge. So I think it's kind of cool. See if your engine's running hot or not and just stuff like that. I got the Moto Hose blue hoses on there. The radiator hoses more just like a bling factor. Uh, most of everything's just the bling factor. I don't really have any performance parts on it right now. I got the, uh, just like this, whoever makes this uh, pretty trick um adjustable rear brake is same with the uh the shifter and i got the cherubis frame guards because i was leaving boot mark mx12 paddle tire on there a full um it's actually right here um i've got the full um ti6 tie pipe for it which i'll be taking with me possibly maybe not um, but the reason I don't have it on there right now, I have the stock pipe on there right now, is because um, on Saturday I'll be racing my stock moto. I also did do what you guys aren't going to be able to know. I did the uh, air filter mod thing on the inside where the uh, it's like a different um, air filter cage, so it doesn't have the screen and just allows more airflow. Also forgot to mention, since I was rolling it around the handlebars, I got the uh, the billet. I forgot who makes this. I think it's Tusk. Um, it's the uh, billet um, throttle tube. That's like a must-have because it's got the bearing inside of it that makes it a lot smoother, like real smooth throttle. And uh, and it's sturdy, so if you crash, it's not going to break off or you don't have to worry about it. Since it's, I did a little custom um, front brake lever. If you guys know about these Cowie levers, they're super bizarre. Um, but yeah, I basically, this one had like a major... Um, edge on it and i just took it into the sander and sanded off so it was more of a rounded just like a personal field type thing but uh yeah water hose here and try to just kind of like rinse this thing off best i can probably should have done this a uh like two weeks ago when the dirt was still moist and it hadn't dried on here yet
chocolate milk fanatic. This is promised land chocolate milk. It's the best in the game by far. All right, what's up YouTube? I don't know if I made an intro here. But we're back at Three Palms, north of Houston, Three Palms and Max um, for the Monster Energy South Central Air Qualifier for Loretta Lynn. So uh, yeah, we're back once again, two weeks later. As you go, if you guys didn't watch last video um, from the previous uh, vlog we had here, I'll have it linked down in the description. Um, but yeah, basically we're only here like two days last time, two weeks ago, and it got canceled because it, the whole place got was supposed to flood. And uh, But it looks okay now. So it looks like, but as you can tell, you may not be able to hear or not, it is uh, thundering right now. So uh, this is like exactly the uh, same circumstances when we got here. Like we got here, we set all up and everything. And then we went to Walmart, came back and like fully stormed. It's thundering right now. It just got done sprinkling for quite a while. And uh, hopefully it doesn't rain, but the rain's supposed to let off. Tomorrow, um, I got my, and then Saturday got my stock motos. Sunday got my mod motos. So yeah, I don't know really what the weather's. I'm gonna go do a track walk again, like last video. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do a track walk and uh, yeah, I don't really know what the weather holds like last time I had no idea what was gonna happen last time and I have no idea what's gonna happen this time So it's supposed to be like a it's kind of cool how they have this lake here We're kind of like surrounded by water. This is the same lake. That's obviously a lot lower than it was last time We heard the water was all the way up to the top of that uh, Deck thing so I'm gonna go do track walk in a little bit But anyways, this is just like a full restart video from last time just a full like uh, You hear the sirens in the background like a full restart of what happened last video homies to get here tonight hang out with them And we'll do track walk and practice tomorrow. So yeah See how it goes, keep you guys updated, and uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain. Out here with John Horn, Orangewood, checking out the track once again. It's looking much better this time, you can tell it's not a Super muddy. Walking the track, I got two back to back triples. The track is looking prime this time. It is not looking as nearly as bad as it used to be. It's looking so much better this time. It's looking pretty primo. I hear with the boys. Chick fil A, the official sponsor out here. Tracks looking pretty well. Practice tomorrow. It's currently Thursday night. We're out here walking it with the boys. It's looking primo right now. It's looking so nice. So, uh, I kind of already know what the track looks like because I already walked it a couple of weeks ago, but I'm uh, just going to do like a re walk and look at the conditions, everything, see what I. Justice. Massive river. <laughs> right here on the golf cart. Dude, that's all sand right there. Dude, that's what I was saying, dude. It looks like a massive sand pit. Imagine yeah. 110 through that, dude. Oh, that'd, that'd be, be so, so sick. It's just back to back ruts. Oh, this radio this thing, dude, but. It doesn't fucking. The sound doesn't hurt. I'm like, damn, dog. Oh, the stereo? <laughs> on the top of the road. All right, it is currently Friday morning, getting ready for practice. Got the bike all on packaged here. Got the fresh whiteies on. I now have to like wax these or something because I don't want to get them dirty because they're the Tech Tens. They're so fresh and uh, so new, and I don't want to get them dirty. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a mutter. Got the bike all dialed in, but yeah, let's see how it goes today. And I uh, got all the kit going with the uh, Flow Visions today. If you haven't, you guys don't have Flow Visions, so make sure you check them out. FlowVisionCo.com because these things are the best goggles in the game, hands down. So, what's going on, mechanic? What do you think about today? I got all the bolts tightened up, man. It rained all night. It's going to be a mutter. So yeah, sorry I didn't film anything last night. It ended up storming all night long. We ended up riding pit bikes to like 11 p.m. until it started storming. But uh, you can see. The weather has finally cleared up everywhere. All right, just got back from practice right now. It was uh, pretty sloppy out there. So I got the bike wa mechanics washing the bike. All right, YouTube, uh, just got a little update for you guys. It's uh, currently a couple hours later here from the last clip. 
Um, I never ended up throwing the GoPro on because I barely finished my practices. So if you guys know, if you see on my Instagram, you guys already know already. But uh, yeah, we're in another little janky cast thing, and I'm uh, pretty bummed on it right now. So uh, yeah, I uh, for or the second practice, first lap. I'll give you guys a little backstory here. First practice, I was feeling uh, real like the first couple of laps, I felt like trash. Like I felt pretty pretty terrible to be honest. And then uh, that last lap of the first practice, I finally felt comfortable with the track conditions because it was super muddy and sandy so i finally felt comfortable i was like you know what next practice i'll be able to actually give it my all and actually be able to push myself and not just cruise around i was only giving it like 40 percent of what i had and uh yeah went out for first lap of second practice and uh did about half a lap i was feeling really comfortable with the track conditions and i knew these were going to be like some heater laps that i could throw down and uh yeah went into an inside um another guy decided that he tried decided that he thought he could sneak into the inside before I could. So we both kind of uh, like hit each other, got tangled up, trying to go into the same rut on the inside. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We just kind of like both came together and then we both kind of like fell towards the left. Instinct, I just put my hand out just to like try to catch myself so I could hopefully get back up and keep going again. And uh, yeah, I just uh, looked down and my hand is completely wrapped around the dude's header, right where it comes out of the cylinder. And um, before I know it, my hand's like, on feels like it's on fire and i like jump off the bike get up i'm like running around so if anybody saw me at three pumps this weekend i probably look like a goon i was running around because uh i was running around trying to get my glove off because i could feel my glove melting onto my hand i thought the glove is what is what got hot and that's why i was taking it off i thought maybe the glove got hot and it was starting to melt and melt onto my hand because i thought i barely stuck my hand on there nine for long i just like but i like full on grabbed it because i stuck my hand out to try to catch myself and i looked down and i'm grabbing exhaust so uh this and stuff my hand is all blistered up and uh yeah so i went and got some cream and all this stuff to put on it we're back here again spent all that money on gas last time totally wasted we drove back all the way again don't even get a chance to qualify i'm just out again so i'm just like destined not to do this race i've been trying to qualify for loretta's for like five years in a row and every year i get injured and i miss a chance to qualify for this race so once again so uh yeah i didn't even get to like push myself in practice i was just putting around getting used to the track conditions and i finally felt comfortable enough to go fast and i didn't even get a chance so uh, this stuff in this video just turns out to be the normal usual vlog of me getting injured that's not pretty boring to watch so i'll try to make this one interesting for you try to get some more clips of some other guys and stuff yeah i'm sorry for rambling on i know this clip's pretty long here i wanted to give you guys an update of what went down out here at three bombs right now the track is firing right here on the pit bike track unfortunately i can't ride but uh out here watching everybody it's like a little soupy track Sick right now. Look at the whole other side. Looks like it's better now. It looks so freaking low. I was editing this video and realized I didn't make an outro. Uh, so making you guys an outro. We finally got back from the Three Palms trip. Currently got all the bikes lined up because uh, I got to wash them all. Today's a wash day. So I've been riding the 125 quite a bit behind the scenes. Not really filming a whole lot. Just having a lot of fun riding dirt bikes lately. I'll give you guys a little hint. 
I'm not gonna like give it away, but I got a woods woods video coming. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe if you guys want to see the next video um, coming up. It's a woods video. It'll be on the 125 for all the two-stroke lovers out there. So uh, yeah, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this video was all over the place. It's not the video I was hoping for. I'm sure it's not the video you guys were hoping for. I was hoping it'd be a lot better. And unfortunately, it was just kind of like the same thing that happened last time, which I was afraid of. So uh, yeah, so uh, like, subscribe, share with your friends guys in the next one.